Oh, is there anything you need to bring? I'll be over soon. I just heard a knock at the door, so that's probably him. Shit! <laughs> what did you do? I don't know. I'm trying you to find the someone from a great height and escape that it fell. What's the recorded farm? If you wish. Yeah, it still has some. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Whoa, what color things did you look at? The wow! Purple and steel. Alright. Did you buy dice? No. It's not a capitalist pig dog. Not a capitalist pig dog. Wow. Mm. What a what a something. Do you need a pencil? Yes. Does anyone else need a pencil? I brought three pencils. Tris. Tris pencil on it. I need a pill. Is there a blanket? <laughs> you have two blankets? What? Are you you're sitting, sitting with on your it? coat. You're not in space. Really, why are you sitting? Because you don't need too... it that high. Yes. No. It's yes. too what? yes down here. <laughs> See? That's Perfect way too high. high. No. It was way too low. No, it's way too high. You're too low. Then. It's too zest. <laughs> oh, shit. Charlie was Captain Planet and Hitler. Oh, well. And, and, and also the Planet cabbage. And Hitler. And Hitler. The cabbage. I have also seen Hitler. In the same room? In the I same room. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, maybe, maybe if we just move some of those. There's the board a little bit. <laughs> the boys back home will maybe need to take a look. Because you know? <laughs> I saw them at your house yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I beat Connor and Settlers of Catan. We haven't finished and I'm in the lead. Uh, so. In <laughs> the lead. Wait, what's, that, oh, what's that game? Did you re Where you put the, no, you you put the houses? <sighs> On the corners of, uh, like, hexagons. That's so yeah. Chris, hexagon. you wouldn't let him re-roll his character? I have yeah, played that game all the time with not. the 80s family. Why not, it's Chris? Not well. Chris, why not? Why no character arena? Because you have to re-roll arena. Yeah, I do. Uh, it's yeah. only the base game, though, so oh, it's not fun. very exciting. Yeah. Why no character re-roll arena? So when I get to the game... I played a... Um, sometimes. We've been I waiting. I played it without <laughs> Yeah, you've been, but you've been waiting for me. The night one or whatever. And then with, like, the ship... You want us to have fun, don't you? Yes, you can. You can't? Oh, we'll all die. Mm. Well, okay. I wanted to become a healer. Oh, well, I guess the bard could. Steady sing song. You're looking at the bard. The bard abilities are kind of underwhelming. They're, like, they're, they yeah. don't just heal you, they... They say when someone else heals themselves, their healing is better. Oh. Um, most of the time, I think. Is that dip any good? Ooh. It looks good. Oh, I like that queso actually yeah. very much. Can I have the chips to go with it? No. Flying saucer? This d mm -hmm. session brought to you by Tostitos and Tostitos Dip. Tostitos, whenever you want to fucking monopolize chips, just come to us. <laughs> just say this line here. Whenever you want to fucking fuck chips. Whenever you want to fuck chips, you get <laughs> Tostitos. <laughs> just that plug this in. Huh? No. Can you? Ah! Yes, that is what I asked. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. No, our electricity know, in this house is our, very precious. I was more asking, okay, there's one. Yeah, there is. Our electric mm -hmm. is precious. Brought to you by XL Energy. XL Energy. I <laughs> wonder what happens if you mix garden salsa chips with... I wonder what happens if you mix uh, Sun Chip brand garden salsa chips with Tostitos Queso Blanco Chip Dip. Queso Blanco. Brought to you by capitalism. When communism just isn't enough. So today we're going to be playing a more political game. We're going to be looking at the effects of magic items change. on the currency, on the economy of the world. Um, brought to you today by Tostitos and Sun Chips. Um, <laughs> Are we actually doing a no. commercial playthrough? <laughs> no. I just imagine we're flying by and... Uh, and they're like, they've replaced the textures of the trees with advertisements. Yeah, brought to you. Just like a bunch of banners. Brought to you by the NRA. Isn't that just like the emoji movie? 
That's it's playing just... at my fucking work. Welcome back to the Emoji right now. D&D's, wow. Uh, D and D podcast. Um, Today's episode. Nothing will happen again. If you want something to happen, go to another podcast. Send us a like and hit that subscribe button. With Send your us a like. If you donate want to, to the happen, Patreon you can fuck off. and make some art on Deviant Art, which I forgot about. Go do it. Well, um, uh, oh, well, I need to leave you already. Uh, Dungeon Sent. Dungeon Sent. Oh wait, no. What is it called? I just had it up. It's called like Life. Oh what, yeah, yeah. What type of pie? Are those? It's like cinnamon pie. Is those pie? What type of music do you want? Hmm. Rap. Not, not bad music. Is it electronic? <laughs> uh, look at, uh, this right here. Peak 2. Oh, okay. Peak 2. Peak 1 is more like actual dungeon. Peak 2, I think, is like out, outside of dungeon. Yeah. Yes. This. Alright, well. Croc Legend of the Gobbles. <laughs> that yeah, music that's... has a. That game has a jazzy. <laughs> look at this. Um, <laughs> I'm brought to you by Croc Legend of the Gabos. Um, okay, well, I think coming it's, it's coming to a theater near you 20 years ago. Perhaps, mayhaps we can continue the story of nonsense. Yeah, not the story of nonsense, indeed. <laughs> okay, well, um, uh, does anyone pop quiz? Does anyone remember what we did last time? Um, oh, Marionette. Does it involve the yes. rape district? It did. Um, we got that marionette power source thingy. Marionette power source thingy? Okay, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, yeah. What else? Yeah, maybe maybe since Connor wasn't here, what happened? You could have just that. To him, what happened? Marionette power source thingy? Yeah, just that. That's it. That's all we did. Did you get the dice from D? Oh, they're there. Um, yeah. Anyone? Anyone remember what happened? Other than the marionette power source thing? I know we fought off the city. Um, what do the robes of scintillation do, Chris? So I got those last time. <laughs> the robes of scintillation. Um, I have some pearls that go back in nine seconds. We all earned a million astral diamonds. We have three uncovered. Um, yeah, I remember that too. <laughs> mm. So does Chris's notes. There to be Chris's notes. We all... Um, maybe I can just find them online. No. Does it have a page number online? Oh, uh, they just wrote down for robes of scintillation. Okay. Who recorded the impressions last time? Fucking your mom. Oh, shit. She's 51 years old. I guess my case was a hit. Of, like, half the people. You invade Switzerland. You could get four trillion dollars. Have you tried this before? Nor do I care. To. Give it, a, give it a shot. Give a shot of that Tostitos. Oh shit, Tostitos! Brought to you by Hey Gamers. It's Greg. <laughs> if if you want to perform better in your gaming sessions, eat some Tostitos Peso chips. Don't get them on your razor. Copyright. Party big with registered, the fight of queso. Registered trademark keyboard. I don't know where those robes of scintillation are. Sorry. Yeah, there is. Have you seen the new razor mask? No. And it's it switched between your your um like your side setup. Yeah. My side setup and then the Anaga Hex's side setup. Like button. You can have two buttons, six buttons, or twelve buttons. Interchangeable with that mouse. Oh, what? No. It's cool. It's like depending on what type of game you want to play. Or you could save up and buy something you need, like food or water. Save up. <laughs> yeah. To buy food. <laughs> fucking, I don't make that much per hour. Like two cents. What do you? What's minimum wage now again? One seven cent. Seven twenty-five. I'm, I'm, I'm making the double. Double seven fifty. Seven twenty-five. Oh, that's bullshit. It's 725. The robe illuminates a 30 foot radius. Okay. 
of the effect can be used more than, no more than 10 times, a total of 10 rounds per day. And um, those who look at the wearer are dazed for 1d4 plus 1 rounds. Wow. Nice. Hmm. Well, um, so we have well, a yeah, disco ball. Yeah. 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 You have me. Yeah, Charlie's a disco ball. Good. What's a 10 year old mean? Tree. You're a oh, I drew my, um, uh, is I drew my character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're just making really a Pokebot. Ooh, that's Pokemon good. Pokebot listen that portrait. too. That is, that is good. This time it's Tostito's chips edition. Okay, I think well, it really captures the essence of who you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what I can do. <laughs> it's yeah. not the chip itself, it's a bag of chips. Yeah. Wait, no, it's pre-evolution, it can be a chip. Uh, it's well, like Magnemite. So, All right. so anything else, anything else that you remember from last time? Zero. A million dollars. What about that thing, you that hallway? We bought, um, yeah, that was in there. Oh yeah, that's great. Right. I went crazy. You went crazy, yeah, you're kind of knocked out. We fought Emilith. No, that was before. That was, that was a little before. The chair. Yeah, yep, Charlie sure. sat in the chair I went and crazy. went we unconscious. Rolled a one. Rolled a one went crazy. He went unconscious I think I missed the chair. session. That's Maybe fun. you did. Mm -hmm. Um, Trevor? You remember anything? No. Good, um, well. Huh. When was the last time we played this? I think I was in refuge last time. Oh, yeah, you missed a bit then. <laughs> okay, yeah, so, so last time I we ended we up with everyone <coughs> leaving the, the box. The box. Yes. Everyone, get, everyone uh, got in the elevator. And got out of the box. And, it, and the elevator is going up towards the exit of the box. The box, the box. represented, of course, by Tostitos brand chips. Tostitos. <laughs> For one regular it's chips are too chip. much. Um, yeah. Uh, Charlie, you're still unconscious, yeah. I think. Did no, I woke up. How do you get in the box? No, you're not. Oh, look at this advertising they did. I did. Look at this. Oh, you did it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> you did it. Yes, this I did. This is a real battle of the wits. Look at how cool they did that. It's yeah, like huh. two people yeah, holding uh, a chip. Yeah, huh. I'm pretty <laughs> like, sure you did it. It's like I'm the pretty sure I did. people, and they're like holding I'm, the I'm chip, which is pretty sure I did. Uh, well, at any rate, perhaps you do as you're, as you're going up the elevator. Um, you know what? Impossible is like impossible. Why? Um, and uh, yeah, so so the elevator that kind of goes up to the top. The doors open there, and it seems like um, everything everything's back to normal. You're back in the. the Good job, everyone. The We're done. The uh, wizards. The wizards' quarters where. He has this large black cube um, that seems to be the same size as the elevator, right. um, but you you have traversed the insides of it and found much more. Um, I'm switching out pure for corruption. Why the fuck would you put chocolate on Ritz crackers? I'm all right. Yeah. Uh, mm. So you're in the wizard tower now, and the uh, well, same reason they put. And peanut the cube's butter doors on have, well, it's have chocolate. Have it's salt in together. Stack. But it also has peanut butter in it. Peanut butter and chocolate oh go together. Oh my god. Nut Nutella. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs, peanut butter, chocolate, oh, flavor. Oh shit, I haven't remembered Reese's Puffs commercial. Okay, well. Yeah, there was nothing on, on that. Well, perhaps. Perhaps there's something you would like to do. Um, because you're now kind of. You're not kind of out. You're out of the place. I, um, I, oh, I yes. I, I forgot ah. to mention. Charlie, if you remember, there was a large... Um, you, you kind of d deducted that it was a sort of Deduce. prison... Um, uh, like a prison area. Yeah, yep. And you happened to find the most dangerous looking cell and basically gave it a good thwack with yep. your lance. I did. Um, that I did. And, and it sort of resonated all throughout the whole yep, um, it did. The whole area. I remember that. Um, great. Yep. I just thought I'd remind you of that. So well, we're back in the mage tower. Yeah, right? you're in the mage tower. Just, I go and just ask thought I'd remind you of that. I go and ask the arch mage if he's there. Um, if yeah, there's he's, any, he's there. He, if if there's any uh, crazy things happening in faraway lands that we can help him with. Uh. Well, well, you know, you just... Are we talking to Basil now? Basil? Basil, Basil, Basil. He has a name. 
He, he got a name a little while back. Did he? Uh oh. Yeah. It's his name Jim, by any <laughs> chance. Uh, but anyway. Uh, yeah, he's like, well, you know, when you go around messing with large and, in, like, innately evil prison block, prison blocks, South kind Dakota. of gonna mess things up. <laughs> uh, the um, thing. We, we kind of, if, if you kind of look everywhere, uh, you kind of mess stuff up big time. Good job. And, like, you mess it up, Ben Blade. Um, I want to go to my home. There town. are, like, Shattered, this shattered glass all over the place. <laughs> all over the, um, the tower. Uh, all over the the room that you're in, oh. which is happens to be the portal room. Oh. Um, oh. With the glass discs. Ah. And they're, most of them are shattered. Mm. And and a bunch of the um, <laughs> the scribes like papers are just all over the place. Uh huh. <laughs> I forgot I drew that. It's like a, it's like a, a thing that automatically just. Like, you push a button on it, and then it scrapes people's kneecaps off. It's a guillotine. Uh, what? It's a guillotine, but you just push the button, and it drops it. Hey, hey, Emberly, what's that on your shoulder there? Oh, nothing. What? Uh, Where? So, so what? <laughs> I don't know, just imagine Basically, you, like, hung it, like, look, right here. You, I'm sure you've you figured out everything that's that's gone on here. Um, that That's a sort of prison ship, and... Yeah. Um, we figured that out. And I happened to be on it, if it's true. He was the listed. Archmage? Yeah, he was listed in one of the, uh, oh, yeah, that's one right. of the little displays. Uh -huh. um, but uh, but trust me, uh, I escaped. Everyone in there should have been dead. Um, and and hopefully that thing will never fly again. Dead. Um, so so yeah, you're you're kind of there. Good. Is there anything to do with the large city around here? In the Archmage's quarter. You're in the large city. A yeah. larger city. Larger city. -er. No, no, I can't think of a the reason largest why. In the cities. <laughs> um, in this, do are do you plan on this kind of off topic? Do you plan on like at, like having our um places that we came from? Be in the in the thing at all potentially. Where is phone? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could come find... across oh, Sand like Root Farms. Well, I mean, haven't we already been? No, no, they, no, you no. haven't. You, you tried to get there, but it wasn't the place that you thought it would be. Oh. Um. Hey, wait, you can You came on the same continent as me, right? Yeah. Most uh, yeah, you're you were on you that the first though. continent. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Why it'd be, is it'd, there always a massive tree? What? Why in like every fantasy thing was like there's just a bigger tree than the rest it's of It's a them. magic tree. I know. Yeah, it's always their excuse. Is it Connor? Still. What? Am I a magic tree? You are a magic tree. I think. Kind of magic. Kind of But it, it'd be kind of neat to uh, mesh all of our... Uh, Characters into one big mega no. character? No. Ah, uh, yes. You Voltron. <laughs> no. No, like, I drew a map. It'd be cool if we all drew a map and then somehow Chris like merged it together. I did draw a map. It doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna build a story around. Just imagine if you were. It'd be like Twitch plays Pokemon if we were all controlling one character. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I would have st steal the league half. No, I would have walked over here. No, I would have played the game. Well, yeah. You. Yep. You you've got the wizard tower in front of you. Any anything that. Basically, a bit meta, but anything that you'd like to accomplish before we we blast off to the next oh. great adventure. Um, 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 can we upgrade our apartment anymore? Um, that depends. What, do you, what would you like to put in it? Uh, a swimming pool. A sauna. No, um, no, not a, not just a swimming pool. One I want a roller coaster. Well, I don't know if we can oh. accomplish oh. the time frame we've got. Uh, but we really, can, we can I, just take ten minutes. And you know, I, quickly install a roller coaster. We can. I'll get my best engineers on it. Can we host I, the world's just, fair here? Promises. Here. I'd like to uh, recommend a hangar bay for Omni Deflection Garrett. You've where, got one already. Yeah. You do? Yeah, we yeah. do. Yeah, it's across from your room. Oh, um, then a, re a research um, area for. Like for, in the bay. For a research the area for research. A research area mm. for research for the Omni Deflection Garrett. Hmm. To see if, like, engineers can come up with wacky things to add to it. Like magic in Well, but a new set of crazy rules. Is it Disney Imagineers? Uh, yeah, well, 
Brought to you by yeah. Disney's Coco. Again, I'll coming out November 12th. Sort of things in particular are you looking to add to your um, workshop there? Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyone else? Any thoughts? Guns. Germs. Steel. <laughs> Maybe some kind of cloaking mechanic. On the garage? Yeah. Um, Don't we have or that some already? like no, no, aura you can't turn protection it type of a thing. Well, I can yeah, turn it pretty, pretty Yeah, but you can't thing. turn the garret invisible. I can turn into a chameleon. I can turn invisible. I can t- Uh, well, we can, we can try to figure something out. Can we add atomic bombs to it? You know, there's no such thing as a good bomb, my friend. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, that was a good joke. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, neutron bombs? What the fuck is that? Uh, oh, well, we can, yeah, we can see what... Uh, I'll, I'll send someone up to, to sort of survey the area, see what we could add mm. into your little workshop. Also and weapons. A second on yeah, the deflection, also. Garrett. I, that thing is unique. That's one of a kind. There's nothing... There's no way we could recreate what you've... Somehow made backwards down there. Them. Reverse engineer, you mm-hmm. mean? If, if no, no, no. We tried to do that. <laughs> if we tried to do that. We Hold would on. probably damage it irreparably. I'm gonna try and backwards create that tower you just made. Oh, it, there's nothing there. <laughs> um, We're gonna start from the top down. The down top. I, I don't think, I don't think we could make another d- Omni Deflection Garrett if we tried. Um, yeah. And that's not just me. That's, that's, the that's all speaking. of us. No. It's DM speaking. From all you of can't us be making that here shit at the anymore. Wizard Tower. <laughs> we believe that your dreams are hopeless. <laughs> here at Apple, we never, like to take your Apple. dreams and claim them Apple. as your own. I never uh, yeah. label yeah. my town. I realized that. Your town? I think I purposely, because I, I put a comma in there, and I said a town called blank. Oh. Okay. So it's like up to your, your own... Uh, Implementation, mm. I guess, but the author was really lazy that day. <laughs> <laughs> but the author went into great detail on everything else, except for the town name. Uh. Okay. Well. Uh, any any other things? Any other errands you, you feel like you need to run before know. going I hate in? Running. We need more milk. We do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. Um. Can we get a cooler put into the Omni Deflection Garrett? We are out of Tostitos, but... I don't know if there's enough space... I don't know if there's enough space in that thing to put in a cooler. Well, can we get, like, a portable storage portal Let's just make the whole thing a cooler. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll just turn it (laughs) into a flying refrigerator. refrigerator. (laughs) Yeah. It'll be be protected from all nuclear blasts. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Now, then we can mount nukes on it. Ah, it's perfect. Um, no such thing. Well, I don't, I don't know if we can quite manage that. Again, if we try to mess with the machine itself, we might destroy it or damage it in some way. Yeah, yeah. Plus, you've got a, a sentient creature living in it. Sounds like the Archmage is a but fucking what? pansy. Remember, you put like the evil wizard the in the is a fucking the pansy. <laughs> oh. Remember that? No. Remember when you dealt with the? Oh no, you weren't there. I was there. Um, Corbin wasn't. Uh, the time when you <laughs> dealt with, like, the shady black market dealer guy and, and gave him, like, a jar of souls for the ability to turn your Omni Deflection Garrett into yep. an evil, sentient flying machine. Why did you <clears> so that? win-win, really. I blame Demetrius, well, yeah, honestly. So not only, yeah, I mean, we turned him into a, um, a big monster... Uh, um, living on a hundred souls. Now I wanted to kick him down the stairs, but uh, no. You kind of did that for... <laughs> Turning Nothing their flying off. machine evil and also sentient. We want it evil now? Well, no. it's evil. It's sort of reluctantly good. The we, personality's we stuff, the person like the per, yeah um, the personality's evil, but it it's by no means it has to obey our commands. Yeah. Kind of. Genie in the bottle. Is it Calcifer? No, not really, because that's not evil. Mm. Not 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 exactly. This guy's, this guy's, re- this guy's really evil. Like, he was trying to kill people earlier when you no, took he, him down a, and a, um, turned him into a flying machine. He's a, um, into a flying a deputy. elevator. He's a deputy. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay, that's, that's the word I, <laughs> yeah, He's I got the big baddie. Right yeah. One of the big One baddies. Of One of the big baddies. Uh, yeah, so you've got him stuck in your little, in your little flying elevator now. 
Good afternoon. Um, any other errands? Um, shopping? Uh, Can you pick up some bread, too? Um, you've got you've got more than enough journey bread. Brought to you by Wonder Is Bread. <laughs> Whenever you need to make comparisons to white people yeah, to yeah, insult yeah. them, they, they Wonder like Bread. To, around since um, 1898. They like to sell things in the tower. Oh, I didn't mean like sell. I just meant like make potions. Oh, um, you, you probably have better luck looking around the, the market. So. I think we can start, probably. Yeah. 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 I wanted to Everyone pick up a good? potion if I could. Everyone. You wanna you wanna see Everybody what sort of potions? Good. Can I have um components for my rituals? Uh, what Ooh. what rituals have you got? Um, animal messenger and make hole. Oh yeah. Hole. Hmm. Um, w H O L. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. What what are the components for those? Oh, ten astrobiotics. Yep. Can I actually uh, can I ask the archmage for some money? <laughs> well, I don't. I don't just give money to people. Uh, can I persuade him? I'm I'm wow. renting you this room for free. Can I? Uh, you should be him? giving me money. Can I persuade him? Uh, it just says component cost ten gold. I don't know what. Um. Well, perhaps. Perhaps we could just kind of sweep over that and say, um, minus ten gold, you, you yeah. purchase the proper components for animal um, messenger. Yeah, I, feel I think like, that might might be like what it. Meant I feel like it. some of those do specifically say, but some you have to have like a chest or something. Or... Uh huh. So I can't persuade him. Well, you can try. Like, All right. like why? Any reason why you you want money? Because I want money. Money <laughs> for a good cause. It's <laughs> for <laughs> charity. Oh, man, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Trickle down economics here at work. That's a 16. Oh. Plus, hold on. What are you using? Uh, a um, number. Diplomacy? So, yeah, diplomacy. Which uh, I'm trained in, so that's. Give that's, me money, basically. That's a 23. Is what you're yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a 23. He's campaigning? Yeah. <laughs> 23. Money. Well, what. For what cause? Why would for I give good you money? Cause. I'm for going a good to cause. feed every day. My best, my favorite cents. charity. I'm going to give what? money to my favorite charity. <laughs> but the mm -hmm. Wizard Tower gives basic amenities to most people in I the city anyway do, for free. I will do more. <laughs> we don't want your. We don't want your communism. How? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Like throw it? Many a thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking awfully vague, my good friend. <laughs> Trust me, if you give me this, you will not be let down. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> what I love. Okay, lie? I'll tell you what. Next time you come back, um, I'll from all the gold I have. Next time you, Which is you come back successfully <laughs> with a with a sort of um, rare or magical item, I'll pay I'll pay you its worth. In gold. Do you want these right, fine right. marbles I found on the floor? These fine marble. What? No, those are mine. <laughs> You want this fine wizard robe you're wearing? <laughs> Tries to sell him his stuff. <laughs> like in Scar. Um, well, yeah, any, anything else? Spare paper? Spare paper? No, I mean like here. Now. Like real in paper. Oh. <laughs> we don't need that. Here's a piece. <laughs> Just adding a few bonuses. Mm -hmm. I leveled up. I'm fine. I'm here. Uh, yeah, well. Wait, was I supposed to be level six? Yeah. Yep. I'm five. <laughs> Alright, I might be six. I think I'm six. Shh. Never mind. Don't tell me now. Yeah. That's it. No, it's, I'm not six. I'm Should I be plus three? So that was actually 24, Chris. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. I'd say you got off pretty well if you, if you got pretty lucky. You know, he's, he's still going to pay you just a bit later, but All right. you expect it. Isn't the archer really old? Ah, he's kind of... This is kind of, like, mid to late so age. He's, I think mid to late a, age? <laughs> just a human. Um... So, How so old are you? Mid to late <laughs> Yeah, I mean... This is named Hugh, perchance. Um, Mid-40s. Hugh, man. No. Uh, he, he's like 70-ish. Like That's pretty old for humans in that is. this 
time, <laughs> basically. How do we know? I'm 27. I am... He's doing pretty well, despite his age. 28. Um, Damn it, 26. Why did we all choose this? I'm 53. <laughs> I'm an old tree. You pedo. Trees, trees last a while. Yeah, they do. At least How five. How old are you? 24. At least five. Wait a minute. Are you Corbin? What? Maybe even at you. 10. 27. Alright, wonderful. <laughs> we're all in the mid 20s. Yeah, we're all so like we're the all same age. Except children. Except I'm 53. Yeah. Depending on well, what. But what I guess, yeah. Pick. You throw uh, our average roughly. up by like 10, 10 years. <laughs> Alright, so. What's our well, next step? Um. What do you think? Uh, that, that's it. You're you're ready. You're gonna go talk that's to him again. Done. That's it. We're done. All right. All right. Good Thanks job. Good adventure, playing. Chris. Yay. Yeah. Didn't like Can you look up a weight chart? A weight chart? Yeah, weight to height chart. What? what do you you're do? fat, Corbin. <laughs> I just want to see if my guy's proportional or not. No, he's got a really big forearm. <laughs> just <laughs> my guy is thick. Oh. I'm 6'5", 230 pounds. Wait, how I'm 5'7", 154. I'm 3'10", 79 pounds. Probably be heavier being a tree. Or lighter? I don't know. <laughs> well, how wood floats. It? No one else floats a duck. Okay, let's see. He's a witch! My guy <laughs> is 4'3". Oh, 4'3", foot three. Oh, you'd be the four witch, foot three Mr. Is moving on. things with your mind. Uh, well, this is... Okay. I have lots yeah. of... I have plus 15 to heal. Damn. Plus 15 to insight. Daniel. I mean nature. Daniel. Oops. I have plus 10. <laughs> I have plus 10 to history. And plus 10 to intimidate. <laughs> well. Alright, well. Um, yeah, so. so Archmage, Archmage is back, and he's. Uh, or you're he's back. He's finally here. Rather, you're back. Um, to chat with him or oh, something. Plus My guy is, like, well, underweight completely. And he's he's looking a bit more concerned now. The Eric um, Mage? Yeah. Why? Oh! He's he's holding a little little funky uh, magical instrument. He's holding a funky magical instrument? Yeah. Was not not big, small? Not musical. Um, a scientific. disco ball? Um, <laughs> and and there, there are little little knobs and dials on it. Uh, and he says, what okay, um... Take take a look at this, and he shows it, and it means nothing to you. Right. Unless you want to make a check and see if it I does. I do want to make a check. And is it a, meaningful to me? Can I do a magical check? Magical check? Arcana check. Magic. What am I smarter than? Oh, the streetwise yes, check. Does it have tiny streets on it? Well, no. Twenty. Well, basically. Wow. Oh, I'm normal. Fact, he doesn't even get to finish My his, his sentence because you you basically interrupt him. Um, and you, you say basically, this is a, a device for picking up long distance magical disturbances <laughs> in the world. And not only has it reactivated recently, probably because of that um, prison block that I hit, um, but it's been detecting some very strange things coming from the other side of the planet. And that's uh, why you called people. us here to investigate right, it. That went far. Good, um, good news, sorry everyone. Sorry to take over your character for a moment, <laughs> but, um, but totally you does. seemed to be in perfect control of the, con of the situation. Archmage is pretty, pretty impressed, pretty surprised by your. He gives you money. By he your knowledge, money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Information ain't cheap, bud. It's... I just told him what he needed to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I'll, I think I'll go on the adventure now. Uh, now that you've told me what to do. Um, good news, everyone. Is so good, you get him to do. Um, well, as as our good friend here explained, um, uh, it's been picking up some strange things. Um, and it, it looks like, uh, it looks like the most, the most recent stuff looks like it's been coming from the other side of the planet, and it is a, it's a particularly powerful spell Ooh. that's been cast a few times in Earth's history, in the Earth's history, that is. Um, but wait. Um, this is, uh, yeah, and the... Excuse me, Mr. Grand Wizard. The sphere oblate spheroids don't have sides. What? Sorry, what? What are you talking about? Uh, I mean, the world is flat. I'm a 
Look, the, 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 this spell, this spell is very distinct. It's very, it's very noticeable because it's only been cast a few times ever. That was a wish spell that just went by us a few, a few minutes ago. Oh, wish, you wish, a fun I wish I had a lot of money. A wish spell lets you do anything, and someone on the other side of the earth just cast it. Why has this not been cast more often? Um, probably because it's. Insanely complicated and illegal. Oh. <laughs> um, and um, yeah. And, and actually, as you're having this conversation, um, you you sort of feel a wave of arcane energy just sweep across the room, He's coming from poisoning everyone with um, <laughs> coming from the floor and going up to the ceiling. Oh. Um, and then it sort of... Like you're having a heat flash. <laughs> and then it sort of... Um, you mean a hot flash? Good no, job. a heat flash. Of arcane... Blast. Wait a minute, is it a heat flash? No, it's heat blast. Of... <laughs> sort of... And, and so, a heat uh, rash. And, and, and he, he kind of looks up and says, that was it. That was the wish spell. It just passed by us. Couldn't we um, just have felt it instead okay. of looking through the magical mm -hmm. device? No, it the point of the magical <laughs> device is to detect things that happen... In other places, yeah. we could have, we Corbin, wouldn't have known that it came from yeah, the other the side of, of the, the planet. The plot device is so we can go on our quest. <laughs> it's a good device for the plot. Um, <laughs> and he says, "Okay, the it just the wave just passed us by. We should be seeing its effects pretty soon. Try, uh, try to just think about all the things you know right now because if they're changed, you would just lose them." Immediately, and actually not know about it. So scratch that. Um, we're, we're going to. We're going to. Uh, it's it's basically it's a it's a little test whenever a wish spell is cast. Luckily, I'm um, writing all this down. <laughs> uh, basically, if someone can change anything about it's the like world, al it's like altering reality. Yeah, it is. Right. And so if if someone. Um, like, who knows what people have actually done with the wish spells in right. the past. We know they've been cast, but we don't know what people have done with them. All right. Because oh. reality just changed. Who, how do we know they're cast, evil? Who's but. cast them before? Um, I we, have several times. Um, <laughs> I had my show. I, I mean, they've, they've been... Let's see, we, we've detected one sort of at the beginning of... That, what was that, like... Uh, five years ago, there was one. Um, that would correspond with the beginning of the, the wars that you were talking about. Oh, all right. Um, oh. there have been... There, they've sort of been, <laughs> like, the in, in history, sort of, like, big uh, moments in history where, where things have changed drastically, like re a revolution or right. um, a scientific discovery, usually because they just invented the answer to the, the scientific issue. Right. What are um, these atomic notes on the ground here? Um, wish for but, a wish spell. But a uh, lot of... Um, there have been... Wish for twice the components of a wish. <laughs> uh, there, there have been a few times where we genuinely don't know what happened. Right. Um, with these wish spells. For all we know, okay. there could have been an extra moon and all, all it was wished out of existence. We have no idea. For all intensive purposes, we have no idea. Thank you. You're um, obviously, some wishes are more noticeable than others. Um, yeah. A lot of inflation after this, Sometimes... Too. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. they, the yeah. right mark they sort of. <laughs> I wish the stock market for Bitcoin would increase by a one thousand fold. <laughs> Why is it a thousand God. Fold? Um, what? Could, like, you no, could you just... could wish for Bitcoin value to drop, like, and then buy them all, and then yeah. have it spike up again. Yeah. That's so, crazy. so he continues. We should, uh, it, if it just passed us, we should be seeing the effects soon of the wish. Right. Um, right. Brace yourselves. Why are we all wearing Nazi clothing? <laughs> um, yeah, and and actually, just um, just a few moments later, you feel um, you feel the wave come back, but it's it's condensed, and it actually is um, moving. You, you almost you almost feel all of the magical energy of this of the area of the tower of the town. Like everything in the air 
condensing to a point um, just, well, let's say, about halfway down the tower. Okay. Um, no, and it's gonna shoot it with an orbital laser. <laughs> and it's all, um, and it just all is condensed there, and actually, um... Wait a second. Um, and y you sort of, uh, if you're, if you're someone who's more magically inclined, for a brief moment, you feel that, like, spark of magic leave you and join the, um, the point down where the spell is condensing to. Uh, and then it comes back. It sort of reignites itself. This is bad. Yes. What if I'm primal energy inclined? Uh, you, you feel something too. It's not quite the same, oh. but, um, uh, but yeah. What if I stab people with swords? If you stab people with swords? <laughs> but you've got magic items on you. You sort of feel them nullify for a second, um, and then kind of reignite. Like you have... You have your, your needle dagger. Does it feel yeah, stronger, like weaker? Uh, it feels stronger. Like, mm -hmm. like the wave that passed you is now all condensed at this one right, area like, when it when passes back. When the magic reignites, does it feel stronger? No, it feels, stronger. It feels normal. Right. Like, like the lights went out and then they came back on just for a moment. Right. Um, and okay. there is a crash from many stories down in the tower. Oh. And the, the Archmage says, It's here! The wish spell happened here. Oh. Um, it was cast here? That's yeah. No, I, I the, effects for... the effects happened here. Okay. Okay. It was. It was. <clears throat> I, I'm. I'm certain it was cast on the other side of the planet. All right. But maybe they changed that too. I don't know. I. I go, um, go investigate. What if that side of the planet is here? They swapped their continents. <gasps> that would be cool. Um. Yeah. So... How about we go investigate? So a wish just happened. Yeah. Um, yeah, investigate? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, we could. Or we could go get that milk we needed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Let's that, go do that. Did that. You did that already. <laughs> you did that before you went and touched Just watch the, the milk be, like, an important of part of us. Um, yeah, just, just, just locally sourced. Normal, <laughs> no GMO. No natural. 2%. Unrasterized? <laughs> Go milk or cow milk? <coughs> um, uh, cow milk. Oh. Pasture, pasture cows, yeah, like only. Okay, I don't think you understand grass. the gravity of the situation here. <laughs> I know, it's on the earth constantly. Yeah, the gravity is actually about like 9.18. Hold know? on, no. Well, I don't know, maybe What's that was meter? changed. Maybe that was what the wish was, huh? Maybe it was. Maybe they changed everything to strange as while we weren't looking. Assholes. They're good. They repealed the law of gravity. <laughs> that was the way they repealed it. Oh, yeah, so... Charlie, right. you want to run down there? I do. So I do. Have a um, uh, what do this I catastrophic Does, event is, is sponsored by Tostinos. Who's coming to join It's a pizza me? roll. Yeah, is everyone running down there? Give me an email if you want a pizza roll. Yeah. I um, guess so. Leave a comment on this web zone. <laughs> Though I, I'm like writing like crazy yeah. while we're like I'm behind everyone else. Wait, you're writing this in a journal? Yeah, I am writing it in a journal. Because said that. Time. I don't know if your character would. I don't know if your character would find the time to do that. But, okay. Well, maybe maybe he had a personality change in a slight way where now. He is very interested in writing. Oh, his kneecaps <laughs> just aren't there. Those, yeah, those kneecaps just don't exist anymore. You know. to remove no, they maybe exist. that was the wish. Uh, maybe <laughs> maybe, maybe someone just wished for Corbin to be a different <laughs> person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> maybe the other side of the planet of or Earth is where the wizard tower is. Because yeah, I just idea. wished from here. Um, well, basically... Um, we just died. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's running down there? Mm. Is yeah. that the plan? I am. Well, we're here flavors well, of Char pie. Anyone, anyone going with Charlie? Butterscotch cinnamon. Butterscotch cinnamon. That sounds like amazing. That like sounds... an amazing time. Wow. It's, I love I, it. I need, to, I need to clarify. Is everyone yes. running down there? I am. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. Good. Again, but I'm in the back. Good. End. You all die. You know, chicken scratches. You should have split know. up the party. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Um, you, the, you get on the stairs and they kind oh. of whisk you down yeah. to the proper level. Can I, can I ask, what was, uh, Bartholomew, uh, acting like when the pulses were... 
he, he like he was his eyes were bugging out. What the heck? He's never experienced something <laughs> well, like that. Well, he's a semi magic rat. Yeah, he he probably experienced the same stuff. Maybe maybe right. a bit a bit uh, different because he's a rat. Did after he all? died yeah. for a second, and then <laughs> he back just wished he would be dead forever. <laughs> Bartholomew is a faithful companion who's lived with me for many years. I did the math and it's uh, the gravity on the planet is around 50 stranches per second per second. Oh, per second per second? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so, so the <laughs> stairs take you down to the right level and it's your level. It's the level of your room and the bay of the deflection garret. Pigs. Oh, no! Oh, did our oh, deflection oh, gear just gave, blow no, up? I think I may know what happened. Actually. What? I, um, oh, the evil guy. Yeah, I think they, uh... Or they installed free. a nuke in our deflection gear. Yeah, yes! They, yeah, they successfully launched they a wish. Successfully <laughs> <laughs> our <laughs> wish was it to they become our fridge. fridge. But <laughs> and the, the entire mage tower blows up except the Omni deflection gear. <laughs> Luckily, we installed that fridge module. Alright, what... What... what um, What's there? Well, let me tell you. Is this you? So, um, so yeah. Which yeah. door are you? Which door are you opening? The on your the deflection gear? The deflection? No, no. You're you're sort of on the staircase. On the left, there's the deflection gear at bay, and the, on the right, <laughs> right there's your Bongo the Magnificent. Bay. Okay. Uh, and you and, I, I know and you happened. see um, sort of hovering a few uh, a, a foot or so oh, above the yep. deflection garret. There is a um, a spectral figure. Yep. Spectrous figure. A spectral figure. A spectrous um, figure had a baby. Um, and a, and a, kind of swirling around it are spectral swords. Wait a minute. That, mm. okay. um, that what see, kind of swords? Like samurai just swords. All sorts of swords. All sorts. If you can imagine a sword, it's probably floating around there. I'm glad they're sort that of like multicultural. They're sort of like swords. whirling <laughs> around. What about a sword that stabs the person that they're spinning around? It's sort of like <laughs> they're they're whirling <laughs> around sort of the figure's head like a halo almost. Mm. Um, it's a great game. And and it takes one look at you the and swords. what? What? <laughs> <laughs> and it um, no, the spectrus. Catch on. And it starts throwing swords at you. So should we make a reflex check? Yeah, I think you should all make some reflex saving throws. Good Maybe not Corbin since he's probably still in the in the hallway. Uh, reflex? Where's my reflex? reflex saving throws to dodge flying okay. spectral swords? Eleven. Eleven. Two. Um. Two. But I also have 24 what? reflex. 26. What? Wait a minute. You don't just add, <laughs> you don't add reflex. Would it just be passive reflex? I don't really. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. So, so it's just pa so it's the, there's 24 you then. Roll and yeah. Then we decide no, no. Based on our reflex, we missed or not? No, that's a that's a different sort of thing. That's like oh. a competition. Okay. Here, so what here, there's a, a specific number that you're trying to overcome. Uh, 11. Do 11. Not overcome it. Toe. Yeah. Or am I stabbed um, through the toe? Toes. What's my lowest problem? Uh, Which you, number are we adding? I don't think we add anything. I, no? I think Chris is just God. being a poopy pants. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying... Look, I'm trying to look this up because I actually never learned this. Mm. Uh, whether whether you add... Actually, also, Chris, mm. uh -huh. but I have the Cloak of Distortion, so yeah. all ranged attacks greater than five uh, squares away. Have a minus five. I'm also half these assholes' height. How many height, cloaks are you wearing? So <laughs> it would just go I'm right a robe over my and head. A cloak. A robe I mean, and a, a cloak. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they're a cloak you, is like a. I guess thing. you're you're a dragon thing, right? Yeah. So maybe you're like cold blooded. So you need to wear. <laughs> maybe yeah. I'm pretty cold. Warm stuff. So it's a minus five. To okay. his to to its attacks. To its, yeah. Oh, all right then. Sure. Is the actual damage of these. Uh, can can everyone the just roll. list their their rolls again? Ten. Ten. Nine. Uh, seven. I'm a druid. Um, eleven. <laughs> um, I, I got the, uh, ropes of distortion. Well, that doesn't mean you get out of this. Close of distortion. Got Means it. he does slightly worse. I'm, I, I rolled a Means seven, rolls but I'm distorted. also um, short. I also, can, I'm also, uh, invisible. What? <laughs> You're, You're not, not invisible. You're not invisible. Why are you, or why well, are can you I, Can I attack him and go invisible? <laughs> what? Um, uh, not, so maybe not, you not yet. Let me... 
Let me just resolve this one thing. We don't know if it's hostile yet. I mean, come on. Yeah, so so just it's a nice just this volley of spectral swords um, are just thrown at all of you, and hang on. It's got a 10, 7, Spectra swords. 11, <laughs> and Charlie, 2. Yes. So Trevor and Charlie, you're going to um, be... So he got a minus 5. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, you think <laughs> you're getting out of this, Charlie? You rolled a 2. I might. <laughs> um, yeah, you, like, these, these swords just barrel at you, and the others um, sort of dive onto the other parts of the staircase, unless you wanted to diving dive into the room. I'm thinking since you're all kind of in a line. I'm from. I could I'll dive, dive in. into the room. All right. Um, so yeah, Charlie, you you dive, you like dive forward, yeah. um, but this guy like totally predicts it and yeah. sends a volley of swords your way. Um, yeah, that's a pretty ground. fast river you got there, Chris. Um, yeah, so, so you get hit by um, four swords. Um, four. Uh, yeah, four swords, and you, uh, and they, they don't, they like pass through you, um, but they, uh, they do eight damage in total, you, they, in total? That's not that bad. They, they sort of, wow. well, perhaps, perhaps he's not quite as strong as he could be. Oh. Um, Are we all, like, fully <laughs> healed? Because I still apparently have 19 hit points. Uh, I'd say since there was that little break, you had you probably all had time to Heal recover up. a bit. Um, so so yeah, you've got you've got swords in you now. They're um, spectral though. So. Yeah, they, they they pass through you, but they certainly matter. hurt. Why hello. 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 Oh look, Shea Ringrose is bringing you more. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. You're welcome. One bag ends, another begins. Service at sharing robes. Mm. Um, say, how do you say Baptist? You don't. Yeah. Well, that would so, Spectral Sword Man, um, if you want to make. Well. Hmm. Alright. What? I'm changing my HP. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, spectral Swords went through you. Trevor, well, um, what's 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 your plan? Charlie kind of dove into the room. I can I dive into the apartment across the street. The hall. <clears throat> yes. All right. And um, as you like turn around, but e gads, your <laughs> entire party is there blocking the way, and you get a few spectral swords in the back. Ack my gack. Um. Ack my back. Um. That's not a very exciting number. Um, that's not very good. <laughs> no very one. Good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so so you get uh, six damage from the the volley of four spectral swords that pass through your back. Oh, that asshole used real swords like a normal person and not a spectrous. Um. And then it sort of, um, sorry. And then it sort of. Waves its hand around, waves its hands around, says something, um, and it looks like it's going to uh, cast a spell, a different spell that is not the spectral swords. Um, can I, can I use my robes of scintillation? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Daze it. So I'm going to my robe sort of flash. It's like, it's like one of those neuralizers in Men in Black, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, exactly how it works, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I flash him. <laughs> you flash him, Charlie. He's, he has days, several he's days for five rounds. Wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a hell of a flash. Is that, is, is that even what an attack? What did you see? <laughs> Dimitri, or not Demetrius. Charlie, is that even an attack? So what do you mean? Like, is that is that something that can even be avoided? I don't think so. That seems unfair. I mean, when you I can only use it like when someone flashes you, you have to look. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're just fucking rude. I can't use it very often. Let's see. <laughs> like ten times a day, was that? No, um, for ten rounds it can be lit or something. Um, the colors create the equivalent of a gaze attack with a thirty foot range. What the fuck is like those who look attack? at the wearer are dazed for one d four plus one rounds. 
will D6, D6, D6 um, DC16 negates. Ah, so. I think. Um, you have to count. Or roll. So if this guy passes a DC16, then he. I think so. Then he shakes it off. At any rate, you have interrupted the immediate spell it, it was casting. Uh, robes of scintillating colors. Oh um, no, this is 3.5. Ah. <laughs> I'll still let you have that effect because it's kind of cool. Here, let's see. Um, let's see if I can. Here, can you hand me the adventurer's vault and see if I can find them? Because that okay. sounds like it sounds like it's close. But yeah, I like that effect. We could just keep that. We could. It's like um. divine Gopher. <laughs> I do like that effect. Divine wow. Gopher 2.0. Flash of flashiness. I need better music. Play the Karazhan music. The Karazhan music? <laughs> I drew a, like a little crystal portal viewer thing. Hmm. To, it, it's kind of like my, this isn't at all accurate to what I imagined it to be, but I drew like the floating staircase thing, and I drew the Dami the Fuction Garrett, and the guy that's, I don't know if he's flying or not. But yeah, he's hovering. Yeah, oh, he is. Okay, then I then it actually is pretty accurate. 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 Um, there are plus one robes. Um, minor action at will. The robes radiate. The robe radiates colored light, oh, illuminating like a torch. That's harsh. You can end the illumination as a free action. Uh, power daily radiant. Standard action. The robe shines bright with myriad colors. Make an attack. Close burst two. Intelligence or charisma versus will. Add the rogue's enhancement bonus as, enhan as an enhancement bonus to the attack roll. On hit, the target is dazed. Okay. Mm. Um, let's let's go with the first ruling right now. Um, okay. Uh, I'll change it on my thing though. Okay. Um. Yeah. So it. Um. It sort of. Okay, it looks at your uh, disco ball robes, um, and clearly uh, in a weakened, in a more weakened state, it um, like tries to blink off or shake off the the daze. Mm -hmm. um, and as it's as it's doing this, it's slowly like drifting up towards the ceiling, um, mm -hmm. <coughs> um, and. As it's doing this, it's going to make, um, it's going to make another attack. Um, so here we go. So they're finally here. What? So he says, so, so here we go. There we go. Um. So they're finally here. Let's so, could you all, um, all do the, um, the reflex saving throws again? Okay, not me. One. <laughs> Damn. Damn shit. Nine. Eight. Eighteen. But he has minus five to me. Only to you? Well, because of my robes. Only to you, though. Yeah, only to me. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. So, in total, basically thirteen. Um, Connor, what was yours? Oh, one. Oh, well. So, <laughs> um... So he, he sort of, like, flashes his eyes a, a pale color, and um, spectral swords uh, just shoot out of the ground. This um, guy's original. Um, what? This guy's original. <laughs> what? It's effective. Um, so was it done? Are you listening to the Pandaria? I just pulled up WoW music. Um... We need stuff that isn't that's slightly less generic. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, that's not even I like right. The idea of my robes just being <laughs> a neuralizer. Um. Yeah. So. Thank you. So everyone, but Charlie and Trevor. Wow, that's the opposite of last time. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, is going to take um ten damage. Jeez. From. From spectral swords, spears, daggers that just, um, that just like stab out of the ground at your feet. Not twenty damage, ten damage. Um, that's a big difference. Mm -hmm. 
And as he does this, he drifts through the ceiling, and the swords, the, the halo of swords kind of follows behind him. Alright. Can we sort of see where he went? He went, to he, just, he went up. Can what? we take the stairs up? <laughs> yeah. Alright, what's the next floor? Mrs. McGilliger's apartment. Um, if you remember, the, the floors in this tower were, were really strange. They basically only... The stairs took you to you? your floor. And that's it. And that's about it. They so can we go to the top floor? Yeah, that's that's that and the bottom floor are mostly your options right now. God, you're the damn. All right, top floor, going up. Uh, yeah, it whisks you up. You reckon um, it's much faster than this guy was floating. Up. All right. So you're back at the top floor. Okay. Um, Archmage is there. Like, what the heck? What was? What's down there? What changed? We believe um our. The deputy trapped inside our deflection garret was freed. <laughs> it was a great idea. It was always a great idea. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. What is? Uh, blame the person that's standing right over there. He's not here right now, but he'll leave a message after the beat. What? <laughs> yeah. Hey man, I just want to get back to you with the Tostinos. <laughs> Feast of Rolls. Um, Pizza Rolls. Yeah. No, and Tostinos. Chips. Dusty knows. And and he's knows. he's seriously uh, concerned about Tosty this. Dusty knows. I'm good too. Um. Okay. Getting my one up. I want some red baron um, pizza right now. So he. What? Red baron pizza. Uh, so he, he starts baron? talking, and as he's that? talking, like, he's sort of like oven pizza. Um. Oven pizza. Yeah. He like frozen. Waves pizza, his hand at the yeah. door yeah. to his Humans. quarters, oh. and it starts to uh, shrink a bit. I don't um, like those chips. And it's like shrinking down to the size of a small square, like this big. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, and then it, yeah. uh, and then it closes and turns into a three-dimensional black cube. Just like um, on the side there. of the chip. <laughs> the the door to his quarters, I've and <laughs> and it floats over to him. So as as that's happening, he's I've, basically I've, saying, um, "This is really serious. K we need to get out of GTA here. Right I'm now. going to." Um, I'd say, uh, get in your flying machine and run, um, and he gives you, uh, a golden box. Okay. Um, and it's the same golden box that From you Marinette. found in the marionette house a while ago. Alright. And he says, you're, you're, you're going to need this, um, there's, there, there's not much in there, but hopefully it's, it's enough <laughs> to... Um, to get to where you're going. It's um, a nuke. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the, the portal would be too easy to trace by magical means, so just get in the garret, go to the spot on the map, in the box, um, find, you've got to, um, you've got to go to the crater. There, um, there's going, there's going to be a crater on this map. And you're going to want to go there and find the spell jammer. It's our best way to defeat powerful wizards like these. Right. And then powerful um, waves of like. And so he, he passes. He gives it to. I don't want to take it. In particular, Charlie Golden Box gives it to Charlie, you. Yeah. The the little cube that used to be his door floats over to him and he pockets it. Um, and he says, "All right, now get out of here before the before this wizard." catches up with us and kills us all. Okay. It's, it's okay, we're going in the opposite direction. <laughs> You'll never figure it out. How do we get out, though? We go get down. Out. Go down the stairs. Da -da -da. No, but didn't he take the door? Through the fucking garret, no. Should let searing didn't George. he take the door, Chris? That's a what? Didn't he take no, he the took door? the door to his personal quarters, not oh. to the stairs. Oh, okay. Then we can go down and take the door. Yeah. He's like, go down those stairs. Whoop. Too bad there's no door. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, down the I, stairs. I vote we do. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Good. <laughs> this is good. You can hear me frantically <laughs> writing this down. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, it, to the garret then. Like, to the garret then. Onward. Wait, can we fit five people in the garret? Oh, who cares? Um, not very easily, actually. Um, so that's, that's okay. 
We can have our, sh and our as you, space module. Uh, and interestingly enough, I as you go into the... Oh yeah, Connor can become a bird. Okay. A tiny bird. Or, or a human size bird. Corbin and I are already short. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> can I be a bird and fly along? Or? Sure. Here. It normally fits three people. Or maybe you could just be in it. I don't know if you could catch up with the garret. It's pretty yeah. speedy. He could perch on the outside. Yeah, yeah on like one of the lanterns. Stick to the outside. <laughs> Ants can stick on pretty well. Um, well, you can hold on to like one of the lanterns on the outside. Yeah. So, so as you enter the the garret docking bay, you notice that your door to your room is gone. To your apartment. What? Okay. Not only that, but as you were going down the stairs, you saw that there were many other doors missing. Oh. From the, um, so we from the took, tower. Some sort, sort of doors. door thief around here. We better catch him. You want it? Um, yeah. Can you all cram into the garret? Were we sure that of us. our rooms were well, gone? Yeah, your room's you, gone. We estimated well, because of the, the like, weirdness of the... Well, no, no, like, the, the your room was inside. the the garret uh, the, the garret um, platform mm -hmm. was installed directly across from your room. Oh, and so on that level, you know yeah. that's not there anymore. But daily. All right, flying in oh. airplane mode, it can I mean, sit around three people. Normally, okay. and he can turn into a bird, and it's a I can. Daily. It's a daily. You want to live? <laughs> oh well. We can fit five. There, those well, three count yeah, as one. Could. Those two count as one because yeah. we're short people. Yeah. Okay. Alexis, he's four foot something. Well, Alexis, oh, right. kind of small. Shard mine. What? This is a rock. Mm -hmm. It's like a seven. giant slab of emerald or something. Mm -hmm. Well, nah. I looked in the back of the book and it's It'd be Beryl, out. technically, Chris, since she's a rock, not a mineral. Rock. <laughs> what? Hello? Chris, yeah. you have a skill called Shard Swarm. Oh, yeah, you, you do. do that. I think so. Cool. If it's, if it's within your level. Yeah. Yeah. What does it do? Uh, I can think basically it... turn into, like, a swarm. Like, you turn into a bunch of little... Shards. Oh. Little shards instead of one large mass... That could work. Yeah. Okay. Um, it. All right. So so everyone kind of crams into the garret. It's a tight fit. It's you. You haven't had this many people mm -hmm. in the garret before. At least um, none can I. The other thing that is very noticeable um, is that well, when you get in the garret, there is no control. There is right. no orb because it used to be. This orb that clearly was the Someone evil have to was the deputy. It. So, oh so now there's sort of there's sort of a null space where that used to be, like it was just it was just kind of erased out of the air. Okay. Um, and it looks like it needs something else to be put there in order to black spit in it. Yeah, yeah just go we have the fish. No, no, it's like it's like an orb. This. Do we have thing. the fish in the indestructible sphere? You do have the fish in the indestructible sphere. The what? You have, we have has seen. I think yeah. I have has seen. Yeah. Or seen has. Sorry. Has. <laughs> he could be the new right. voice. What are you I'll talking put, about? I'm going to put seen has in there. He's our fish. So, so the, little okay. fish, the little fish in the indestructible glass ball, um, like he, he kind of clicks into the spot in the air. No way. You're and, piloting and, this rare And he's like splashing around. <laughs> um, he's pretty happy. He's never had such a position of such importance. Well, has any fish? <laughs> um, yes. But Seen has is a very important. It's hard to feed him. I love Sometimes. him. How do you feed him? Uh, well, it's already a magical orb. He the water, The water out. never seems to run out in it. Um, Run like out. it never gets if, dirty. Oh, it could okay. keep, yeah. Like he could keep swimming in one direction. Oh, that's annoying. Forever. Okay. Um, in. <laughs> wow. But still be in the same spot. Okay. Um, know it's kind of like a, a water or magical system. treadmill, all the way around. Um, <laughs> Just like a giant hamster ball. It's a water. Interesting. Okay. Uh, a fish ball. If now you I'm will. just reminded of the movie Bolt for no reason. Oh, that was such an interesting movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but interesting. Um, I have a grew a fantastic story to tell you. Okay. That oh, was a cool kid quote. Everyone's favorite. Um, Does he pilot the thing now? Uh, no, but you can properly, you can manually control it now. Oh, wow. Lovely. Um, That's all we wanted anyway. And the... Who should pilot the jump? The horrid, sarcastic, evil guy voice is not 
anywhere to be seen. Who has like the best dexterity or something? Clearly, it is like Corbin. He was part of the people who Wait, fucking you, built the thing. What would require? I don't know. Huh? Intelligence. Intelligence to fly something. Probably something like this. I Char- think charisma. Wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> um. No. Strength. Fortitude. I I am pretty intelligent. I think I think Charlie. I have really high wisdom. I have a. Who I have designed a, it? Was it? Corbin, maybe that, he should Corbin fly. Corbin and Dimitri. Who designed the... Garrett? Yeah. Who, who modified it to be able to fly? Right. I think it was Corbin and Dimitri. Yeah, right. it was just us two. Everyone else um, was out. So maybe Corbin should I fly. I was there, but... I f- when I was Do I have to roll anything or anything like that? No, no, you've, you've flown it before. Okay. Where do we go? <laughs> There's You're, a map. Ah. Um, yeah. How about right. away from here? Away from here, so, so yeah, you, you sort of, you get in and it starts hovering upward. It just floats up a bit, <laughs> um, and it has a, a nice like underlying hum um, that tells you it's on. I insert one kneecap into uh, the mm. the hyperdrive system. <laughs> <laughs> Punch it. <laughs> <laughs> Pushes the. Hit it, Joey. <laughs> and the we teleport um, to the, the other skylight side. skylight in your little. And your little docking bait uh, opens up, mm-hmm. and it's raining outside. It has been for ah. weeks, um, as it yeah. usually does. Uh-huh. You need to seal that up with some flex tape, Chris. Wow, flex seal? <laughs> no. That's yeah. A- um, you you haven't seen the map. You haven't <laughs> checked what's in that box. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, Can I, I check? If you want. Oh, I, no, I guess you're holding it. Yeah, do you, it. You can just open it. It's just yes. Okay. It it actually slides open very easily now, mm-hmm. which is strange because it didn't before. Mm. All right. Um, WD forty. So inside, <laughs> if it's all right, I'll just tell you the contents. Okay. Inside there is a uh, a glass disc that has been split down the middle. Oh, oh. broken CD. Um, no, it's it's, it's the like sort of disc discs? that was yeah. It's a portal disc, but it has been. Uh, shattered, clearly. Uh, would you say this is a moment for, um, the make-hole ritual? <laughs> uh, I mean, that'd be cool. I don't know, but, um... I don't know, why would you want a hole in it? Unless you want to turn it on a turntable. <laughs> W-H-O-L-E. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. I mean, come on. W-H-O-L-E. Along with that, there is a... Um, Grimoire of Sacrifice. Kill one of your team there members to kill a small powerful boss. There is a drawn map. Ah. We have five Where people are we? here. There's a, there is a town to the bottom left, or bottom right, called Brindal. Brindal? That's yes. where you are. That's where we are. Um, the capital city is marked to the top left. Rowan? Just a and too. what is this? Uh, you Semanity. notice that refuge is actually no, no, on the map. Um, I do. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. You can see it's in one of those manta um, rays. That's it. Yeah, on one of those canyons. Oh yeah, I figured and that. And there's a spot like, marked what is in the crater. Refuse. And we want to go there. And that is, that's where he said <laughs> you should go. Yeah. Alright, well, we're gonna go to Marlow. The Ashen Warpath draws near. No, Surrender yeah, the city of the, Brindal go to, to us or be destroyed. The okay. You have until 2.30 tomorrow. I mean, you, tomorrow. you don't have to. There are other places marked on the map. Uh, I think I want to take his advice, though. <laughs> oh, he seems so. genuinely concerned and adamant that we go there. Aren't you... Is Corbin flying it? Corbin, yeah, I'm We're flying. gonna go to right there. Okay. Where are we? We're in uh, Brindal? Yes, Brindal. Okay, uh, let's, we're gonna make a stop at Refuge first. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is kind of in the flight path. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. If you really wanted to. We're gonna to. stop at Refuge and okay. say hi. You, you've still got, uh, oh, you've still got, Roswell. uh, Roswell, the little, little red bird. Where's yeah. who? The little, he, who has he, him? He was oh, the I think I had him, didn't yeah, I? He, he's yeah, kind he of perched on my shoulder. Oh. Yeah, yeah if you wanted this to. This is a really awesome map. If you wanted to this stop by to Refuge, you certainly could. Alright, I don't see why not. This is con- Tower Control, uh, November. Did we Lino. just get this now? Magical? Yeah, he is. Did we yeah. just he, he get He was that? a golem. Then he was kind of put into a Can bird, I, uh, bird, put bird this school. into my book? Uh... I'll write it, I'll draw it in, but... Yeah, it's... Yeah. It was in the little golden box. And along with the shattered glass and the map, there is a small, um, uh, black cube. Ah. All uh, right. Always with the black cubes, this one. Yep. This is a black right, cube. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to this refuge. is a black cube. This is a black okay, cube. Okay, yeah, refuge. You're cleared uh, to take off. Right. Yeah. Heading 000. 
Can Roswell talk? Play it, Charlie? Yeah, he can. And Charlie 3. What is the land that we're in called? Like, that continent? Mm. If it wasn't has... written on the map. Yeah. And actually, no one's actually uh, talked about that. Oh, so. Inga Dinga Dirty. Alright, so I had a direct you. Um, yeah, so that's, that's like your first stop. Alright. Um, yeah, the... Uh, we asked them, like, if they've experienced Well, any... hang on, you're not there oh. yet. Oh, well, I, I assumed it'd just be, like, an automatic... Uh, like, yeah, oh, let me just, let me just tell a little bit more. Okay. Um, so yeah, you're, as you're flying away from the wizard tower, and it's raining, um, there is sort of a crash from the top of the wizard tower. Oh. And... It's the Archimages battle and each other. And it explodes... But it doesn't collapse. Instead, the tower seems to gravitate towards the top of it. The entire tower collapses up into this top oh, no. central point. Um, and then for, for a moment, it's just utter chaos up there. And then it, oh, so and then like it just like <laughs> vanishes itself away. The entire tower? Yep, the whole wow. wizard tower is gone. Uh, shit, we could have used that nuke. Damn. Um, All right. And I mean, there are like crackles of energy in the in the general area. Brought to you by Hershey's Crackle Bar. Crack one open today. Like the rest of Brindle has been affected by it. it looks right. just like tower vanished. Um, All right. And you don't see anyone around it. Okay. Um, like no one floating in the air. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's what you see when you fly away. All right. It's a low pitch frequency. So and we're headed to refuge. And as yeah, and as you get farther and farther away from Brindle, um, blissfully the the rain starts getting slightly weaker, and so by the time you reach refuge, um, it's a clear sky above, which is not something you've seen for a little bit. Hmm. Wow, nice. clear sky. So so clearly the the I idea of this thunder cloud that just hovers above. The area of Brindall for a certain spot is true. That's it's just there. Um, all right. Uh, when we all right, we land now. Um, yeah, you sort of. I I, I bring the I bring the I bring our ship down steady. Um, yeah, we're we, I, I go and talk to the the. Well, when we land, what happens? I should say. <laughs> um, people people point. It's a small town, and people aren't used to seeing something like that. Well, don't they know they? Do they recognize us? No, they haven't seen the Garrett. Yeah. Oh, well, not... Oh, uh, um, when we get out, do they... Yeah. Uh, so not only does uh, Roswell, the little bird, kind of hop off Connor's um, nest get, on his shoulder, gets uh, and he says, Wow, I'm finally back home! Oh, my. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, and so the the people are there. The, um, the townspeople are all there. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see... Their names. Um. Yeah. So the the mayor of refuge, the the newly appointed mayor, um, Cassidy. If you remember, Cassidy was the the crazy um, minor person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's there. She's she's the mayor now, and she. Fly. What is it? The finale to Danny Phantom? What? Uh, his his black friend becomes the mayor for no reason. What? <laughs> that had nothing to do with this. Trevor. Oh, spoiler alert! Yeah, what if? In what case if you wanted to watch the shitty third season of Danny Phantom, it's ruined now. There's a third season. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So she's she's crazy Sad. as ever. So what brings you back to refuge? <laughs> Very little reason. <laughs> um. I asked uh, I asked her if um, the town has experienced any magical phenomenon recently. A magical phenomena. Other than your like time warp phenomena. nonsense you experienced a while back. Yeah, we all we all were there when the when the the great wave of magic passed us by. Look, all the windows shattered on all the uh, the general stores. Look at that; they're all shattered now. Wow. How many general stores do you have? Just one. <laughs> <laughs> what goods are All sold there? 
<laughs> then we <laughs> should <laughs> roll good all the stuff that you could ever like want. Like bread and vial and milk. We need more. We ran we need out. Milk. We need, we need more milk. We're in desperate need. That's why. Is that the only reason why you just we just came here to <laughs> yeah. just say to say hello? Get, how are you doing? Yeah, Can you buy guys, some of your milk. Yeah, we're the closest you guys, 7-Eleven around. You guys, you guys have, have the best cows. Yeah, you guys have the best milk around. <laughs> With all those cows uh, that aren't here. There aren't even cows in refuge. What about outside of refuge? How do you get your milk then? Humans. <laughs> I never said we had any milk in any general store. What are we talking about? Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't drink milk? Secretary, consult well, the transfer goats. We're here to give Roswell back. He's annoying us. <laughs> no, Roswell. No. He's, he's been on my No, shoulder. I know. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> All right, uh, Roswell. It's been ages, years, decades. Should we boycott the Jeff Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not been that long. <laughs> Should we boycott the general store because they don't have any milk? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they were expecting us anyway. Let's go in there and riot. They lose. Let's go and riot. And... You want to go to the general store? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Let's go yeah. Rito. We're going back to refuge. <laughs> Screw the witch. Okay, so um, yeah. We're right, going we're... to the general store. I vote. Yeah, so, I... so you enter. Okay. I, uh, I, no vote. I walk up to the clerk and I immediately say, where is your milk? Really oh, loud. So hang on, hang on. Brought, brought to you by Cass Clay Milk. As you're walking down the, the front, or the, what is it, the, just the, the main street of refuge, you, you get kind of, you kind of weird flashbacks of your many, many Getting times doing the same the thing. Um, <laughs> Deja vu. The underground yeah. chasm. Shooting and, in the uh, and actually the, um, the black there. cube uh, kind of like shakes itself a little. No, oh, it's happy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's your, it's it's a phone. It's <laughs> 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 getting on call. Could also be a guide mm-hmm. counter. And uh, yeah, so uh, and if you know.